Right guys, we are back in Bowerstone, inspiring the people of Bowerstone Industrial to rally. Yay! And we are going to have a blast from the past. Um, check videos part 3 or 4, but I didn't have my capture card, so it will be a bit crappy. So, yeah. Here I'm we go sorry, then. sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place being closed down, and I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. But you think you're the only one who has problems? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go I hope you're not looking for somewhere to oh. stay. <laughs> this place is about to close for good. No. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiance back. I tried to work up the courage. Oh, uh, anything story. for love. Damn that ferret and his gang. They've got everyone living in fear, even me. But if I had you with me, you could go in there and show them what fear really is. We could rescue my fiance, put ferret out of business, and I could keep the shelter open. Please, if not for me, do it for the poor people who depend on this place. I was about to say if I get a word in edgeways, yes I will do. Oh, thank you. My poor love. It's been agony being apart from her. And it's about time those thugs faced justice. The rough kind. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks. But now this is outrageous. I know where they are. They demanded I bring them the ransom in a week's time. But I'll bring them something better. This guy talks as much as me. Anyway, so yes, um, we actually saw this guy at the castle. We signed his petition, petition to eradicate poverty in Albion, if I remember correctly. Oslo. I'll figure that out. You just cost me a bit of gold, mate. I bet old Harry would take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the yes, bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, he's the bagman. And that gold doesn't leave his hands until my fiancé's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. Why does that guy sound like a chuckle brother? Do anyone else notice that? To me, to you, to me, to you. Don't get all uppity. That was the worst Chuckle Brothers. Yeah, basically, if you don't know what the Chuckle Brothers is, it's, it was a TV show when I was a kid. That was my childhood. And watching my local football team. New game, new game. Can we guess my football team? What football team do I support? I'm surprised I haven't spoken about them in previous recordings, but yeah. Have a guess. Oh, Laszlo. I can't tell you how <coughs> excuse I me. to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with his burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiance from whatever filthy corner you're keeping her in, or my associate is going to start collecting heads, piling them upon table. My initial judgment of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart after all. Lads, tear it out. So, yeah, fight. Ah, I'm gonna get killed. No, get away from me. Yeah. I think there's a book here. Yes, sir. The most destructive tool ever devised by man, 
it has forever changed the face of warfare, allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no effort. Scholars have begun to speculate. Could this formidable development destroy the concept of chivalry? Perhaps even that of mercy? Uh, uh, only time will tell, uh, and this public debate dark, has it? only just begun. <laughs> also, gunpowder is used in fireworks oh, to celebrate various occasions. And if you <laughs> make off even a quite small one in your hand, it will hurt very, very badly. Uh, I cannot overstate how unthinkably horrible the pain is. Yeah, that's one of them books for Brightwell Book Club. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm a very tired 23 Steve OG, but we'll crack on. You brought this on yourself, Ferry. This didn't have to happen. It still doesn't. We really got off on the wrong foot. I'm no threat to you without my men, and I'm only too happy to return your fiance. I can be quite accommodating. Get on with it then. Well, the thing is, she's actually not on the premises exactly at the uh, present no. time. She's incarcerated within a nearby facility, shall we say. That access hatch will provide you with, well, access. The sewer? <laughs> you fellas are a sophisticated lot. Please. Go and get her. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. So yeah, we're gonna go get his girlfriend.